With a wave, Tim Peake sets off to work for a job like no other. As a former military test pilot, he's used to adrenaline, but this is different. His four-year-old son held aloft to say his final goodbye, an emotional moment. But Tim is happy, calm and cool. I want to come with you, Daddy, said his son. But earlier, his wife explained, they're all relaxed about it. I am really happy. You know, it's, it's been a long journey to get to this point, so we're, we're really excited to get to this stage in the game. And I know he is, and he just looks so ready for it, so it, that's great. The crew set off to the launch pad. The final goodbye, tweeted by the European Space Agency with a message, good luck. Tim and his crewmates are aboard now, 50 metres up at the top, ready for the final countdown. But Britain's first publicly funded astronaut to be sent into space won't forget the planet he's leaving behind. Our thoughts will be with everybody on Earth enjoying uh, Christmas and with our friends and family, of course, and we'll thankfully be able to give them a call on Christmas Day. Since he was selected for the European Astronaut Corps six years ago, Tim has been preparing, spending 12 days in a cave, going underwater to imitate reduced gravity and experiencing weightlessness itself. But he suspects no amount of training will prepare him for this, the view. Tonight he'll dock at the International Space Station, the size of a football pitch and the most expensive object made by man, costing £70 billion. His task, working with an international crew, carrying out experiments that will increase understanding of the Earth and help the next stages of human exploration of the solar system. Lisa Hampley, BBC News.